a short heritage tour. Uh, what are we here to do? To walk around, talk about Emiratis, right? And go to the mosque for uh, religion. Anybody wants to convert to Islam? Yeah. Mm. Nobody, right? That's not what we do, folks. We just show you the uh, mosque. Uh, <laughs> we talk to you about the car with the chandeliers, all right? <laughs> My God, I go to churches all the time. I'm still Muslim, you know? I go to synagogue. I'm still a Muslim. I haven't come. I go to temples, too, no problem. But there is some misconception, you know? You know? Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, what? Yeah, you know, you know, selling it, we need to start the pitch now. Yeah, right? <laughs> so really, what the whole, why did we start this? Sheikh Mohammed Center for Culture and Understanding. His Highness, he saw that we were devout to something very simple. It's called answer people questions. When you come to our country, you are bound to be curious and ask questions. But you are shy. Like today, what's your name? Saleh. How many of you told Saleh? How do you keep your white dress clean? Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> See? Really, really but she is shy. Yeah. I, I always tell them thanks a lot, but don't call it a dress. Watch your language. We don't wear dresses. Women wear dresses. No, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That's what I was afraid to offend you. I say, I'm not afraid. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I learned this from Scottish men. Have you been to Scotland? <laughs> you ever tell a Scottish man, I love your skirt? <laughs> I can't take it so upset. I say, come on, man. What is it? Kilt? Okay, it looks like a skirt. Is that okay with you? They get even madder at me. So we mess around. We like each other. What's the big deal? We call it Kandora, right, Saleh? Yeah. So Kandora. If you go to Kuwait, good luck. Don't say Kandora because they call it what? Dishdasha. If you go to Saudi Arabia, they call it Tob. Oh God, I'm not gonna memorize everybody's dress, right? So how we keep it clean? We have dry cleaning. Well, very simple. We don't have water. It's desert. And they just look at me. I'm I'm happy that you guys reacted, but a lot of times people just stare at me like. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I changed my answer to see if I am getting really what they mean by the question. It's called the heading statement. I said to them, uh, thank you very much. I have four wives to do laundry every day. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That gets everybody going. I don't care who you are. When I get this answer, go, uh, say, oh, Scarlet so five. really? Yeah, right. <laughs> So really, you, uh, so, uh, you have four wives. How is it to live with four women? I say, I'm just kidding, man. I just have one wife. <laughs> so, oh, really? Why? <laughs> like, why not? You say, I heard you can have four. I say, yeah, you can in English is optional. <laughs> just read English. I understand English too. You can. But let me ask any married man. Are you married, sir? Yeah. Would you like another wife? What is a big headache? What is a big headache? Oh, that's because she's not here, that's why. But no, this is average man. Are you married? Are you married, Saleh? Would you like another wife? <laughs> what is enough? That's how we talk about you ladies behind your back, huh? More? She knows my mother-in-law. Oh, really? You tell his mother-in-law. But the concept here, they, there is this craze that we think that this Arab men have this desire for marriage. And so therefore, as women, you think it's a lowering for you to be a second wife. But let me just put this in the simplest, tiniest way possible. I ask a woman I've never met before. I'm going to give you one out of these three options. You must decide on one of them. Don't tell me oh, no. one of these must be decided on. There's a very famous guy named William, Prince William. You've heard of him? I think so. Okay. And he has a wife named Kate. <laughs> Sounds familiar. So, yeah. yeah. So now let's, this is the option. We're talking about this decree, it's called Islam, was revealed in 610. I just want you to go back and think 610. And what are the options women had? You have an option to be his second wife. You have an option to be his mistresses. You have an option to be his concubine. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. This, we lived like this till today. You understand me? Till today, royals get to have whatever they want. You know what I'm talking about. Which one would you like, second wife, mistresses, or concubine? <laughs> oh, Honestly, just give me one of those. Second wife? Second wife. It is the nature of the beast called female. Until today, Ashton Kutcher was with what? Until today, Dominique Schwartz, can we cut him in the hotel with who? You with me? So from 610, God said, please, you want to touch a woman, you want to have intimacy, honor her, elevate her, give her the status of a wife. And then you can treat her, honor her, cherish her, provide for her. Would you ever allow a strange man to touch you? <laughs> no? Even if he's cute like me? <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. 
You'll think about it. I'll let you know. For you, as a strange woman, come and she is very friendly with you and touches you. Is that okay with you, my friend? Very much so. Uh, yes. very <laughs> See? He's like, where is she, please? <laughs> Male, female, we compliment, we complete, we don't compete. Today, all over the world, women think they are winning grounds and they are what? Equal to men. All over the world, you cut your hair short, you wear pants. <laughs> Male, female, same education, same degree, same job. Same salary? <laughs> where? More. Which country, same salary? South Africa, same salary. Can you please go back, revisit, and email me back? <laughs> I promise you, it's still a gap of 20 to 25 percent, if not 35 percent in some countries. Are you with me, my dear Reyes? Yeah. Yes, it is. So therefore, ladies, don't be fooled. We still don't treat you the same. All ads for Ferraris, always a woman does the Ferrari thing. <laughs> what, does that make a Ferrari drive better when you do this to it? <laughs> so therefore, the concept here is what God wants, what we want as men, or what we want as societies, now today it's called open doors. Let me enter into your life. Open minds, oh, I see your point of view. I don't have to accept your way of life, but I understand it now. Are we good? That's why His Highness gave us the house, to welcome you for a lunch, for a breakfast, for a dinner, for coffee and dates. We do walks and talks, but it's very civilized, it's very open, and we have fun. We just want to know each other. Why are you away? People ask me, why you wear white, you make your women wear black? I say, what's wrong with black? I say, to me it's hot. I say, so what are you saying? So you torture your women. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's how you believe. <laughs> well, our women torture us inside the house, we torture them outside. <laughs> I can't get anywhere with positive, so might as well build on negative, you know? <laughs> People believe me. First you want me to marry four, and now you want me to torture them? If you torture your wife, what is she gonna do to you? Love you to you dearly, right? There's no such a thing. Who said that black is hot? All of you are wearing black sunglasses, right? So let's talk about it. I research everything I speak about today, folks, and it's facts. The problem, it's very small, but it's not uh, uh, seen in front of us. Just like my dad told me, don't buy a black car. I said, Dad, we have black cars all over Dubai. Why? He said, it's not good in hot weather. I said, why do they still make them for us? <laughs> black cars, black tires, black asphalt, black battery inside the black car. Find me one car in July when it's very hot, broke on the side of the road. <laughs> He said, why do you have to argue with me? I said, I'm not arguing, I'm just convince me. But we believe. Why? Because we are told. This is like watching the cartoon Popeye the Sailor Man. Did everybody believe if you eat what? Spinach. You become? Jumbo. Did you eat spinach? <laughs> I'm telling you, my mom still cooks spinach. I keep telling her, forget it, it's not good for us. She said, what do you know? Get away from me. Why? Because we believe. So today when we go to the mosque, we will cover. They used to tell us, folks, don't go outside with your hair wet. When it's cold outside, you're going to get sick. You know what I'm talking about? How many of you heard that from mom or grandma? Yes. Do we get sick from wet hair in cold weather? No. No. See? We used to not shower because of the smell. My God, for a few hundred years non-stop in Europe, we barely, rarely ever bathed. Imagine not bathing. Like, I'm talking about once a year we bathed in Europe for a while. That's disgusting. Because we were afraid of water. Because they told us. So today we might be afraid of Muslims. Not too long ago we were afraid of black. South Africa, you know what I'm talking about. Black and white. Oh God, never ever see a white woman with a black guy. But a white man sleeps with his slave, black woman, it's okay. It's really weird stuff. <laughs> it's really weird stuff. But again, today it's open doors, open minds. Shall we have fun? Yes. yes. Yeah. Let's go. My name is what? Oh, you forgot. <laughs> Nasif, N A S I F. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say something about me? <laughs> <laughs> we are just admiring your name. <laughs> yeah.